So, a few videos back, apocalyptic bunker project. There is an underground bunker under my feet as we speak. But, in the last video, a shed appeared above the entrance. And that's what we're concentrating on today. We could have bought one, it would have cost about 1,600 quid, but bought sheds are not as good as built sheds. So we're gonna build it today, we're gonna to try and beat the 1,600 pound budget and make it a damn sight better. But it's raining, it's England, it don't matter. Let's get on with it. Now, the first thing we did is lay a course of bricks all the way around the outside to put the shed on so it's not sat on the ground so it doesn't go rotten. First bit of preparation, we've screwed the chop saw to the bench and then we've set up a little marker so we can slide all the bits of wood in and cut them all the same length. Because the first thing we've got to do is build four stud walls in, a, in effect which go all the way around the outside, which you shall see. So, done three of the four stud walls, now we're going to put the corner posts in, get it all fixed together, kind of stiffen it up. It fits, it fits of course, it fits. around on the walls now and then you can see why well, we've left this little nib on the corner post here 12 mil ply then a layer of feather edge and it all ends up nice and flush okay that's plied two of the sides but before we do the other sides we've got to put the roof beam across and get them up so the ply can go all the way up into the apex there we go we've got a nice uh, roof center beam going across and we've kind of a uh, Put these little bits up here so what we can do now chop the top off the fence post and then ply up these front and rear sides so it all kind of squares it all off makes it all nice and rigid there we are we're all plied up now just got to put some roof slats on yeah, it's a new day of course, clearly, and it's not raining today, which is good. It's not windy, it's not anything, it's going to be a nice English day. It's what we like. making a lovely job of the roof and if you look down here look oh don't the bunker look deep from up here all the way down there look look at it looking brilliant I've been on holiday and worse things than that so then, we've built a skeleton, we've put a nice skin over it, now we've just got to dress it up. So we're going to cover it in feverage, before we're going to do that, we're going to put like a sheet of polythene over just to give it a bit of extra protection. Yet another feature you don't get on a bought shed. So, let's get cracking. Oh yeah! I'd put a little bit of insulation because obviously soundproofing and stuff because there's an underground bunker under it where a lot of noise is made. Now the next thing to do is a door. Yeah. 
Now, as well as finishing the door, I've also travelled forward in time six months because it's not November anymore, it's June. We had a pretty wet winter and then after that I had two massive firework experiments to plan, like a hover bike, a flamethrowing guitar and all sorts of other crazy experiments. But back to the shed, all that's left to do is the roof. Now we're under budget, the original shed if I'd have bought it would have been about 1600 quid, so far I spent about 1200 pounds so I've got a 400 pound gap. Now I could put a felt roof on, like my normal shed, probably cost about 150, 200 quid, but I'm thinking, made a lovely job of this, we've got a bit of money to spare, let's go posh. So, I'm going to put a slate roof on. Now this is going to cost more than the 400 quid gap, it's probably going to cost about 5, 550, but it's going to look pretty swish. So, that is the next job, I'm going to put a slate roof on my shed. <laughs> Put a bit of lead across the front, up the sides. The front stuff's mainly just so it kind of looks a bit better. And then the side stuff gives it like a little bit of waterproofing so it all will creep down the side of that fascia board. And then we just get the slates. Lovely. I think it's gonna look very nice. It may be summer, but the weather's not really changed much. It's now raining. Yes. Now, if you'd have bought it from the shop, it would have cost you 1,600 quid. But if I had to put my fancy pants roof on it, I would have beat that by about 50 pounds once it's painted, everything all in. And look, it's a much better shed. Solid wood, ply lined, inside and out, and it's insulated. Plus, if you build it yourself, you can stick doors and windows wherever you like. So, now, this is not a shed building channel, and if you're wondering uh, before what the talk of the underground bunker was, if you click on this playlist up here, you can see what that's all about. And then if you know what I normally do, click on the other two playlists kind of give you an idea of the sort of projects I normally undertake but there we are see you on the next one subscribe and all that malarkey boom